All right, coming up next, we get to this middleweight bout between Robert Whitaker and Kelvin Gaston. on the short list of UFC fighters, some of the best fighters to have never realized the UFC championship. Here is Kelvin Gastelum trying to continue his run here at 185 pounds. Yes, as Kelvin Gastelum has gone up to 185 and stopped depleting himself in those massive weight cuts down to 170, he's only gotten better. And that showed in the fight with Israel Adesanya when he had a chance to become UFC interim champion. He went five rounds, he went five rounds hard, he tried to accomplish the goal, he fell a little bit short, but that gave him confidence to know it that with the heart and the spirit of Kelvin Gaston and the skill that if he's that close, with a few adjustments, he can find himself right back in that same spot. The road to middleweight golden glory still goes through Sydney, Australia. Robert Whitaker is the man, and just don't call him Bobby Knuckles. You'd be okay. I just don't understand how he does not embrace this nickname. It's <laughs> perfect. It's absolutely perfect for Robert Whitaker. But he's one of those guys that doesn't jump off the page. He's one of those guys that you don't look at and go, oh my goodness, he's one of the most dangerous man, men in the world. But he is. He has unbelievable skill. He has a wrestling background, was able to stay up right against Yoel Romero, who's the world and Olympic silver medalist, was able to knock out Jacare Souza. Just a truly tremendous mixed martial artist since going up to 185 has truly found his groove. And the Reaper, as they call him, always says the best place to break your hand is inside the octagon. He's done it before. He's not afraid to do it again. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Gastelum is 28. Whitaker is 29. He is three inches taller. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Yuma, Arizona, USA, Kelvin Gastelum. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, six losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Sydney, Australia. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Oh, 
how about the Whitaker right hand? See, this is why when you sit down to play EA Sports Every UFC time. 4. John, no question. <laughs> no question. I know where I'm going. I try to make it more random, but I randomly select the Reaper, Robin Whitaker. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Just misses with a left hook there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Robert Whitaker. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Keep going again. Go again. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Gastelum. Under three minutes now to go in the round. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Kelvin Gastelum. Oh, he lands a huge move to the bottom. Oh! Oh, collar tie. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feel something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Very nice leg kick there by Gaston. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish his fight. Gaston gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Nice punch there. 90 seconds to go in the opening round. Gasolin's got the tie clinched. Let's see what he can do. Misses again with a right punch. Oh! Battling for hooks. Oh, nice jab. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? overhand punch to the head. It doesn't get there. It was telegraphed and it was blocked. Good punch, land. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Straight right hand now just misses. Back and forth we go. Gasolin's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of sweat. Round two straight ahead. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, buckle up. Here we go with our second round. Robert Whitaker versus Kelvin Gaston. Lands flush with that right hand. Look at the turn in that kick. Left 
top counter. Oh, that's a good combination from the former middleweight champion, Robert Whitaker, right there. He's flowing, man. And when he's flowing, he's a problem. And right now, the problem is growing for his opponent. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, hey. order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got it. Going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but I'm able to land. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Gets up again here, but hurting. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Gastelum gets touched by that kick there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Takedown defense holds up. Oh! How good is that right hand? How about that shin? Just over three minutes to go in round two. 76 total strikes have now landed for Robert Wood. Well, and any time you're above 50%, you gotta feel pretty good about that landing with 56% accuracy against Kelvin Gaston. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Whoa! Oh, big left hook there. Lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Side control now. All right, try to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Now potentially working on a submission instead. are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when, when to hold him, yep, yeah, absolutely. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Fighters back to their feet here. Whoa! He's done, he's done! What a performance! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 43 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Robert Whitaker. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? This is going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.